Here is a Panasonic model F9200 9 inch desk fan from the 80s. Model F9200 Matsushita Electric, made in Japan. I think these are some of the best 9-inch fans to come out of the 80s. Uh, the design and the quality of the components just seem to be better than most. I don't know if I would say that it's the most durable 9-inch fan, but then again, durability wasn't really a thing with the 9-inch fans. It wasn't really as evident, I don't think, as it became with um, some of the 12-inch fans. Like, the easiest one to point to is the Galaxy 12 inch fan from the early 80s. I mean, that is a, a legendary fan as far as durability goes. You could still find those fans that have been sitting for 30 or 40 years and turn them on, and, and it's like they, they've never been serviced and they, they run fine and they don't require any additional lubrication, it, it would seem. I don't think you really find that with any 9 inch fans, not that I've seen, and uh, this is no exception. If you find these fans out and about and they've been sitting for a while, there's a good chance they're going to be locked up or just stiff. Oil's going to be dried up. I think that that's the case with most shaded pole. Uh, little 9 inch fans like this but I really like these fans I think most of these came with the blue blade color scheme this is the only one I've seen with brown blades but I think that there was also an Edison version of this too basically the same thing but it just it would have said Edison there instead of Panasonic and on the label. It's got the double stabilizer ring here and the blade is really high quality too. It's a very rigid, high density, heavy plastic which really lends to the spin down time as we'll see here. But we'll get this fan started up. Uh, moves pretty decent air. The only thing I'll say uh, is that they tend to have, I, I think it's part of the reputation of these, not just the 9-inch fans, but a lot of the, the Matsushita fans, Panasonic, KDK, whatever, uh, they tend to have some issues with weak capacitors. So, like we'll notice with this one, it, it just takes a little, a little while for it to get up to speed. And I, I think that that's across the board and not just um, from this particular era either. I think that there was just something with those Matsushita capacitors or maybe they... I don't know. I don't know what it is, but it's a it's a thing. And this fan definitely has it too. It just it takes a little while to build up to speed. You can hear it gradually climbing.
go to high speed now. Still climbing. There's a little bit of a plastic rattle in there somewhere. The rear guard just kind of snaps into place and I think it might be, might have a little bit of play in it just, just enough to where it rattles slightly. I think that that's that, that's what the rattle noise is, I'm pretty sure. It's definitely moving some pretty good air now. back to low and then we'll run the oscillation. Yeah, I just love the styling and the look of these. Pretty unique fans, I think. And this one doesn't really seem to be quite as loud as a lot of other shaded pole 9 inch desk fans. The motor has oil ports also. So it's at least semi service friendly. We'll go back to high speed. coast down. Pretty good. This fan hasn't ran for probably six months at least, so I think we're doing pretty good. Anyway, that's the Panasonic F9200 from probably, I think, 83 or 84. And I have several other fans like this one with this general design. And I plan on making some more videos of those fans pretty soon, too. So, thanks for watching.